All right, guys, my name is Marcel Ernie. This is the Ernie Racing YouTube channel. And uh, let me take a seat here. I got Coco on the left, this fat Coco. And this is Fred, Freddy Cougar. And we got the DCS 2500T, brand new Echo that I just got. And, uh, oh yeah, check it out. Oh, Freddy's like, yeah, what do you think, Fred? You want to check it out? Leave here, there you go. Okay, and Coco's just going to hang out. So we're going to talk about tensioning the chain. I'm going to show you how to tension the chain, or Coco's going to show you how to tension the chain. Of course, I got the battery out of the electric one. Battery's right here, so make sure, obviously, a gas one's not running. The battery, you know, a little bit different. Um, all right, Coco, you just relax. So, first step first, I'm going to pull the chain cover off. And, oh, don't want to fall off back yet. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> all right. Fred's going to hang out. Let's continue, guys. Sorry about the delay. So right now, the chain is tensioned. So I got the, the brake, obviously. The brake is back. And you can see it's nice and smooth, right? Nice and smooth. And if you pull down, you want to give a really good zoom in here. You can see, like, it's just... If I pull hard, I can just get it out of the gears, right? Um, and you can see it tightens up too. It depends as you go along, you see, because it goes loose and tight. So keep it in the tight spot. You'll see just shows the, the, the sprocket gears or whatever you want to call it on the chain just slightly. Um, so this is perfectly tensioned, and which means it's smooth. It's not coming off. And um, I'm going to show you how we do that. So step one, guys is um, you're gonna loosen up the chain bar and then you know they come with a tool or you just use the appropriate tool for that I had it really tight obviously because I was using it or going to use it but just hand tight and you can see the the bar moves up and down maybe like a centimeter right and and then there's a screw here a flat blade that I use I'll take my hat off for you guys to um, loosen it up. So let's loosen up the chain since it was already tight. And now, as, see as you lift the bar up and down, it changes the tension. So you want to make sure you're always adjusting the chain when the bar is up because as you're cutting down, it's going to force the bar up. If you tighten it with the bar down, it's still going to move up as you force it through a log and then it's going to loosen as you're, as you're cutting. So you don't want that. By the way, I just learned this stuff, so I'm just re-teaching you guys without actually having experience about it, but uh, I studied up just enough, because um, this is my first chainsaw. So again, hold the tip of the bar up, then you're going to take your adjuster screw, and you're going to adjust it, I want you to get a good zoom in here, you're going to adjust it just so it, it kind of see that, so it snugs up, just on the bottom, just so it touches the bottom of the bar. But you don't want to touch the bar and then tighten beyond that. So it's a very sensitive area. And you'll know you've done it right because as you spin this, it's still loose. Like right now, obviously the chain is loose, right? Right now. But it, it's you're not gonna feel any more tension. So kind of get used to like what it feels like when there's no when there's no resistance. And then we're gonna get it tight and hopefully it'll feel the same. So now you can take a zoom in. I'm tightening it up. Look, it's it's raising, it's raising. I'm almost there, and boom, just touches the bottom. Now I'm going to tighten it, and I'm holding the bar tip up again, right? I'm tightening it, and then, okay, we can take a little look. Look, I can see the gears, or whatever, the, the under the chain. You can still pull it down slightly, right? You know how people always are like, look at that. That's how they used to adjust it, some people, on, as it grew up, and so, and... Now, okay, I feel resistance now. I really do. It's not like it used to be. So it feels a little tight for me. I feel too much resistance, like tight spots. Like it feels like, not just tight spots, but it's just tight overall. You feel resistance. Um, so that's a little too tight. So again, I have to back her off. Again, finger tight. Make sure you can wiggle it up and down. And then I'm gonna back this guy off. Okay, and let's do this again. You pretty much have to start from scratch every time because um, you got to let the chain drop. Again, hold the bar up. There, it just touches the bottom. Tighten it up. Okay, it still feels a little bit of a resistance, but not as bad as the first time. 
still. So I would. My opinion is it's still a little. If you would. It would be good. You'd, you'd get away with this. The problem of having it too tight is it's going to wear the front of the bar and it's going to wear the sprocket. So that's your main concern. And the problem with having it too loose is if you lose the chain, if the chain this comes off, then the chain is going to get all buggered up and bend the chain. And what if a flying chain catches your arm or catches your leg? That would be really bad news. So it's um, you'd probably rather have it too tight than too loose. Um, so this is actually not too bad. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. And you can see a little snap. So I mean, definitely I would if you're doing your thing. But let's just test it one more time. Again, loosen it up, and then just quarter turn back. I'm not even going to spin it, I'm just doing a quarter turn back and then see what that does, just going by a quarter turn. Oh yeah, see it feels, it definitely feels a little better that time. Yeah, and it doesn't pull out very much just like before, so I'd say that's perfect. Just loosen it up, you know, you can find your tight spot and then loosen it just a quarter turn from there. Now we're gonna do this one more time, just from, from the beginning. See if we can hit it on the first, look at that. Also, you can see it spins on its own. Let's go right from the beginning again. See if we can do this quicker. Okay, again, finger tight. Let's spin this right off. Okay, we got loose chain. Hold the bar up. Tighten it down. Just touches the bottom. Tighten, holding the bar up. Oh yeah, butter. That feels great. You can see also like it can fool you, like it's tight on the bottom. And as you go through it, you see how it loosens up in a certain stroke with the sprocket. And then, you know, it, it goes tight to loose. Do you see that? That's what I think throws most people off is you gotta realize as it goes through the sprocket, it's gonna just change for each stroke. Because the chain is also, if you zoom in, the cha each chain piece, especially for such a small chainsaw like this, each chain piece, like those two pieces are taking the end. And so, like, so if you're between them, it's gonna, now that one piece is curving around, the, it's a very small chainsaw, right? So that's why it's gonna like look looser and, versus when you have two things even like on a V. I think that's the difference. Anyway, so we're gonna tighten this down, it seems pretty good. But it's, it's good, but give it a good time. Put the battery in. This is a beast. Power button on. I think we're good to go, guys.